hello, hello. We are um, going live today for the self-reliance block. And I'm gonna just make sure Instagram is on live with us. So welcome, welcome, it's Tuesday. It's our live video day where we are making the self-reliant block for the Live Well, Live Strong quilt. So this last week we uh, made the movement block, which is right here. And this last week I had so much fun doing exercise and doing everything. And it was, it was just really a fun week. I don't know about you guys and how you felt about it, but it was a great week for me. And we had such a great time getting out and enjoying all the benefits of moving in our lives and of um, enjoying. Hi, Karen from Arizona. And hi, Allie. It's good to see everybody. Um, and so it was, it was just a wonderful week. But this week we we're actually working on self-reliance. And the self-reliance um, quilt block, because th this is the Live Well, Live Strong quilt that's right behind me. It has 26, hi Dolores, has 26 blocks about health and wellness for women. And we are on, this is week nine, week 10, you guys, what is this? I don't, I, I'll have to ask Matt what he says. I, it's nine. It's week nine. Yes, it is. So this week we are working on self-reliance and we've been, so this is this week. It looks like a thimble of thread because in the old days, a thimble of thread really kind of represented productivity or independence as these women made their own clothing, say in the pioneer days of women making their own clothing um, back in the day where you know, they're going to the, the to the grocery store buying fabric and then they're coming back and they're gonna go, you know, make themselves an outfit with it. So I think a thimble of thread really represents a lot of things. I think it does represent self-reliance in a lot of different ways. So let's go ahead, we did movement. We've done the balance quilt block. We've done the self-care quilt block. We've done the freedom quilt block. And I'm doing mine in several different colorways. Um, and I'm also doing it in the in the original colorway. We've done the positive quilt block. We've done the mindful quilt block, and we have worksheets on all these things. In fact, I'll have to have Matt grab me my book in a minute. And we've done leisure, um, the leisure quilt block. We've done the fuel quilt block, which is just a basic half square triangle quilt block. So those are all the quilt blocks that we've done so far. Hi, Delinda. It's good to see you guys. Um, so, but today is about self-reliance and I have to tell you, um, if you are on Facebook and you want the self-reliance worksheets and the blog post, everything is published and it's available for download. If you're on Facebook, just go ahead and say, send me the worksheet, send me whatever. Today, we're going to be giving away, um, a, some free fabric of fat quarters of this, um, this Riley gray fabric. So it's a Riley Blake um, design solid fabric and it's this gray fabric right here that we're using in this thimble block. And um, so that's what people will be winning today. Um, so if you can share the video, uh, make comments, let me know that you guys are here and all those kinds of things and that'll be spectacular. And then I can, we can determine some winners at the end of the videos. So let's get down to this one. Um, and let me go ahead and show you the pieces. So let's go ahead and look at the overhead view, if we can, Matt, thank you. And these are the pieces that, and I'll, I'll have Matt grab, he's doing a little bit more technical things for me right now, but let's go ahead and go through how this block is constructed. So we have this basic block design, and when you have the pattern, so the pattern is for sale, and when the pattern, whenever you have that, you're gonna cut out all these pieces. So we have five different blocks here. Here's the pattern, and here is the, the section on self-reliant. And that's what this looks like. And so we're gonna go ahead and put those blocks together. And you can see that we have this basic structure right here. And let me go ahead and show you, I'm using a small design board for those of you guys on Instagram. And let me bring the phone um, down so you guys can see what I'm doing right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and lay these out like this. These blocks right over here in the four corners are just half, half square triangles and they're really easy to sew, you guys. Don't be afraid to tackle triangles. This is a great quilt to kind of get over those fears that you might have which maybe you don't. Let me go ahead and use this blue right here. And we're just setting up this block and then I'm gonna show you how I stitch it. So this is the tutorial. I do a tutorial every week for the Live Well, Live Strong quilt. 
And on this, and hi Mary from Florida, it's great to see you. What has everybody been doing? It's actually been raining here today. I took Luke to another doctor's appointment today. And, um, and I got back and now we're doing the live. Okay, hold on, I feel like I'm laying this up wrong, which I know I am. So here's how it looks. So these are just the half square triangles that we're gonna stitch right here on these corners. And then, um, and you can see how that is built in this block right here. So really it's a very, it's almost like a nine patch block with just some half square triangles that are pieced together in the corners. It's really pretty simple. It's really, really pretty simple. So let's get to stitching. And we've got the camera over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just strip piece. So on the worksheets, you guys, I really want you guys to see it. Matt, would you be willing on Adobe Acrobat, now I think I cut out of it, but would you be willing to open that up and print off the self-reliant worksheets? Um, I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just match up these little triangles into half square units, and then we're gonna just sew these at a quarter of an inch right here on each one of these. So let's go ahead and match these up and get them ready to take over. And we're gonna string piece these over on the sewing machine. So I'm matching these up. I'm gonna just kinda lay them right here. And so each week that we do a block, I also have a worksheet that's available for you guys to work through the topic of women's health and wellness. So this week is self-reliance. So there's many different ways to be self-reliant. There's a way to be self-reliant, say, financially. Um, where you're living within your means and your, um, which is a good goal. Does anybody have self-reliance goals? Um, Dolores, you were going through your pattern early to see which worksheets you're missing and you've not finished that task yet. I've been making bowl cozies with your pattern. Oh, wonderful. So Dolores has been making bowl cozies today. Uh, today in Utah, it is a rainy day. So a nice bowl of soup would be very, very delicious. I, that just sounds awesome to me. Um, okay, so I, I laid out my, my four half square triangles. And uh, Liz, you had rain and hail and snow in Canada. Oh my goodness. And on Instagram, we've got Allie from Australia. It's good to see you guys. How wonderful. And you guys, I do share the prizes internationally. So those people that are regular followers, you'll be able to see that. Matt, will you switch me over to camera, to the sewing machine? Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get over here to the sewing machine. So we have these two half square triangles that we place together. You guys, there's no flashing of the camera if you're on Facebook or YouTube. So I stream this live on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And did you notice there's no flashing cameras? We fixed it. Matt and I fixed it. We're so proud of ourselves, huh, Matt? Yes. I don't know if Matt's as proud as me, but I'm very proud of it. But um, it's really kind of cool, and we learned some technical, some more technical stuff. So now I strung fed that through, and I'm going to take my next one through, and I'm going to just lay it up there and just string feed these half square triangles together. And I'm doing it with the quarter inch seam if you're new to quilting. So this quilt takes just a true blue quarter inch seam. And I'm surprised every week that I put together these blocks. They seem to come out just the right size. So we have four of these in the four corners of this thread block. And this block is all about self-reliance for women. So we can be self-reliant. Now, we're never gonna be truly, truly self-reliant where we're independent and we're living off the grid, right? That's not our goal here. We're just looking at self-reliance to increase our health and wellness. So if we are independent and don't have a lot of debt, maybe using up our fabric that we have instead of purchasing new fabric, then that gives us a lot of self-reliance in our lives to not be nervous. So for example, you know that I have an adult disabled son and for him, we actually do you know, have some social security for him. And then I have caregivers that come to the house um, six days a week to help me um, take care of him while, um, and, and you know, it's kind of hard, it's kind of stressful sometimes to know that I'm just kind of living off of the government, which I need to do because my son will never really have true 
self-reliance, right? But it does make me nervous. So for example, if there's policy changes or things like that, um, and also his medication, his insurance, um, everything can change so easily. So we aren't completely self-reliant, but we can have goals to be self-reliant, and that's not gonna be one of them. I'm just kind of expressing. So here's all of our finished um, half square triangles. Let me get rid of this excess thread right here. Kind of went a little crazy. But so it's always a goal. So just, just so you know that that just makes me a little nervous when we have to rely off of the government for assistance, which is just fine, which is what I should be doing. Now we're gonna go ahead and press these open. I'm gonna bring you over to the main top camera and let me show you how I press that open. So here we are. I'm gonna grab my pressing mat right here. So it does get to be a little crazy, but there are things that we can do to have self-reliance. And self-reliance is always a great goal. Let's set our seams all in one stack right here, okay? And then let's open these up. You can press your seams open. You can press them to the darker side. You can manage this however you feel you're comfortable managing this. Um, remember, it's really just like a nine, nine patch quilt block with just four little half square triangles. So there is nothing to be overwhelmed with this darling thimble quilt block. Um, but there's ways to be financially self-reliant, but there's also ways to be emotionally self-reliant. Um, do you guys have ideas on self-reliance? Let me know. I know, Liz, isn't it wonderful there's no flashing? It really is. So here we have the, the four quilt blocks. And so now we're gonna go ahead and just lay these back out again, back into on the little design board so it doesn't shift around. I always use these things. And we're gonna lay that out right like this. And let's go ahead and bring this one up here. Whoop, why am I not seeing this easily? You guys, what is my problem? I know I didn't sew anything wrong, what the heck? It goes this way, there we go. Why is that looking so backwards to me? And then it goes this way. <laughs> okay, that looks so backwards to me. Doesn't it sometimes? I'm gonna just kind of um, uh, snip off some of these dog ears here, but I'll do that as we pick things up. So this is our basic layout of this block. Now, what I'm going to do for this block is I am going to piece this, this whole row together, and I'm gonna piece this whole row together and then I'm gonna be piece this whole row together. Now, um, so I'm going to just take this, um, this half square triangle block right here and place it onto the solid right sides together. And then I'm going to take this over and let's go ahead and do this again. No, I'm still on the overhead camera, sorry, Matt. So now I'm gonna face this to, to right sides together on that center block right there and then I'm gonna do right sides together here. So what is a way that we can have emotional self-reliance? Oh, Dolores, I love it. Yeah, I know, Liz, I de that was definitely um, not my best thinking there. It's pretty funny. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take this over to the sewing machine and I'll show you. I'm gonna just take this through here and just do this. Oh, I lost my top thread. Let's go ahead and pull that back out. Here we go. It broke but that's okay. So let's go ahead and do, um, if you guys have tension issues, what are things that you look at? One of the first things I do when I have a tension issue is the first thing I do is I re, I take my thread out of the top and I re-thread it. And that usually seems to fix some of, most of my tension issues. Sometimes putting in a new needle, um, sometimes making sure that the bobbin is wound in a healthy way is a good idea too. So let's go ahead and just go right here. And I'm gonna show you, so I'm gonna just take this at a quarter inch and I'm gonna bring all of these pieces up here. So there's our first one going right there. And we can see that one. Let's go ahead and bring these two solids that were in the center. This is the center of the thimble. And this is the second row. So let's go ahead and do a quarter inch seam right here. There we go. And then our last one, let's go ahead and sew this one together. And then I'll show you how I press these. And this, you do wanna kind of press, there's something particular you wanna do when you're pressing this so that you can piece it accurately with your quarter inch seams when you come to these angles. So I'll show you my little trip, um, tip 
um, and hack right there that I do whenever I'm doing this little part right here. Okay, so we've got this. I'm gonna now snip these apart. We can go to the overhead camera. Thanks, Matt. Matt's been helping me. We've been multitasking all day long. Okay, so let's go ahead and press. Um, let's let's lay these out first so that you can see what we're doing. Wow, a lefty sewing machine. You've never seen one. I'm sorry. I need to reverse the camera view on my um, on my cell phone for the Instagram video. Okay, so we're gonna lay that one down right there, and we're gonna lay this. Um, when you have tension issues, it's because you threaded your machine with the presser foot down. Yeah, I agree, I agree. There's all sorts of different things that can really trick up our machines. Okay, so now here we have these blocks that we just stitched. So we just stitched these, but I am gonna press them real quickly, but I wanna show you how I'm going to press them. So let's go ahead and see. So the pressure foot is up, Dolores. Wow, okay, that's a good point. Oh, Abby, okay, well, we'll get back to that. Now, what we want to see is when we stitch these blocks to the next one, is we wanna see these intersections right here. Where's my little um, seam ripper? Is we wanna see this intersection on this side. So we wanna be able to see this side of it so we're gonna press our flap over that way. So let me just show this to you. I'm gonna lift this up and bring this over here. So we're gonna press this so that we can see the intersection of these lines right here, because we wanna stitch through those lines. So let's press that one that way. And then if you're not pressing your seams open, boy, this is a lot of extra thread on this. And we wanna make sure we're pressing this the right way. Okay, there we go. So what we're gonna wanna do, let me bring my iron over. Well, I guess we could kind of set the seams. I didn't set them. Okay, is right here, we want this to be exposed. We want this one, let me turn this this way, to be flipping the opposite direction because we're gonna nest these seams together for this demonstration instead of pressing them open. And we want this one to be over to that side. Now you could easily press all your seams open too. But, um, so what we've done is we're doing this so that we can see this intersection of the threads right there. Let me bring this up just in case you can't see it. We wanna see that intersection, not hide it in the seam allowance. So for here for Instagram, we wanna see that intersection right there because that's what we're gonna cross over. So let's go ahead and lay these back down on the board here. See if I can get it right. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm not doing this right. Something's wrong, you guys. Oh, it goes this way. Holy cow, I was getting really worried about myself there again. Okay, so there's that one, and here's this one. So let's go ahead and stitch now our third one. Remember, this is a nine by nine patch. So we're gonna sew this row together, sew that row together, sew that row together. So let's continue this. I'm gonna flip these over like this. Flip this one over like this. If you want to join the sew along, go ahead. And uh, yes, this is a good way to do the, the seams, Liz, so that you just know for sure that you have those seams matching. I'm gonna take this over to the sewing machine again and just sew these three units together. So let's go ahead and just make sure we've got a good view there. Okay, so we're gonna bring this over right here. And here is, let's pull my thread through the foot. I'm doing my quarter inch seam. And there we go. And then once again, we're gonna press this again so we can see it all, uh, you know, the way that we wanna see it for when we're constructing the block. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring this. I love thimbles, thimbles of thread. Don't you guys? And I just love this block. I love being able to sew this. Um, I've never made like a quilt that was all thimbles of thread. I think that's something that I would enjoy or making a really large thimble of thread. I don't know if you guys have, but I love the thimble of thread block. Whoops, sorry, I banged that. Let's go ahead and pull this up. And you can see that I chain piece those together, chain piece those, and now I'm gonna bring them back over to my pressing mat, and we're gonna press these. So let's go ahead and open these up the way that we want it. So you can see, well, let's go ahead and set the seams like we're supposed to. So here we go, we'll set the seams before we open them. Now, um, we can flip these over, flip them around this way. Let's put that this way. Sorry guys, a little awkward here. 
Okay, so now remember, we want to see this intersection right here of where those blocks cross over. And then we want to do this center one reverse so we can nest those seams together. And then we want to see this intersection over there. So let's look at that, give this another press. And let's have this go this way. Sorry, this is supposed to go this way. But no, as long as I have a good press on it, I can repeat, I can nest my seams. So I do like pressing and pressing and pressing my blocks. Okay, now let's go ahead and just cut the thread that's, since we seem, we, I don't know, what's the word? I string fed those, let's transfer this over to the design board. All right, oh, that's interesting right there. So let me show you what you're gonna wanna do on this block. And we might need to press this again. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, now do you see how you have a quarter inch seam allowance right here? So right here you can see because of where that half square triangle went in, you've got your seam allowance right there and on this side right here too. Now, this would be best if those were equal. Now that would be something that I might fix um, if it were me, but I'm here live so I'm not gonna fix this right now. But what we're gonna do is, is see these seams right here. You want that to be a true quarter inch seam there and a true quarter inch seam here. I probably did more than a quarter inch here and so it's eaten it more and more when I fed it the second time through. If it were me, and uh, you guys, I think I might just go ahead and fix this. So Instagram, can you see how these quarter inch seam allowances are not the same on the sides of the symbol? Um, that's what we want to try to avoid by having a consistent seam. And look at this, let's, let's look at this closely. You can see here, I went a little wonky. I started with a quarter inch seam and I went too wide right there. Okay, so Facebook and YouTube. Instagram, you can see where I went real narrow and then I come down and I went real thick right there. That's what's causing that problem. And right here, you can see the same thing. I went from narrow to wide. So let's go ahead and just restitch that back on real quickly. I apologize, you guys, but I'm gonna just rip it, okay? So using when you use good quality fabric, the, the prize for today for watching the video, sharing, or um, or being on live with me and commenting and things like that um, is going to be a fat quarter of fabric of this Riley Gray. Hey, Jake, there's a package for you right there on that step. There is? Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so let's go ahead and fix that real quickly. And I'll make sure, and you guys will see how you can fix something like this if you see that something is coming off. Oh. So I'm going to take this back over to the sewing machine. Thanks, Toby. Oh, you're welcome, Jake. So to get that quarter inch seam, I just got Jake a hydro flask bottle, water bottle. And um, so let's go ahead and make sure we're doing our quarter inch seam here. And I guess I could, I could pin my things, you guys. That would be smart, right? Okay, let's bring this down. I am kind of on this at an angle a little bit so I can make sure that the camera sees everything. There we go. So there's that one. And now I'm gonna just go ahead and sew this one real fast. But at least you guys can see how to repair and how to fix something. But I am, I'm definitely not sitting at this sewing machine very straight. I'm sitting at it, um, let's see, the sewing machine is north east of me. So I'm coming at it from an angle. I'm not sitting at it straight on. Okay, so now when we open this up, we can see those are pretty equal. Okay, see the quarter inch seam allowance is pretty equal right there. And let's go ahead and do this again. And that's a lot better. That is definitely a lot better. And still coming from an angle. So let's go ahead and place these two pieces right sides together. So whenever you're dealing with a high quality cotton fabric like this, you're definitely gonna have an easier time, um, you know, taking out your stitches and stuff like that. I am using Aurifil white thread is what I'm using to piece this quilt together. Now, remember we said we're gonna nest our seams and we wanted to see this intersection right here, okay? So we wanted to see this intersection because this is the intersection you're gonna go over to make sure that your points are matching up. So you're gonna cross over this little point right here and you're gonna cross over this point right here when we come down and we do that quarter inch seam right there. So let's go over to the sewing machine and let's do this. 
So what are some things that we can do for emotional self-reliance? Let's get these up. And I'm nesting my seams. They're going opposite directions. So emotional self-reliance, there are some great suggestions in the worksheet. Oh, I did not get me a copy. The printer's not printing. I can't get it to print from that computer either. You know what? Yeah, there's like a little funky monkey thing going on between those two, the, that computer and that printer. Anyways, okay, so you can see how I crossed over the intersection and it's almost like a star. So there's those two lines and I cross over and I cross over right there. So, and we should be able to open that up and see um, that that is going to now match. So you can see right there for Instagram, if I have the light right, and then for Facebook and YouTube, you can see how that looks. Okay, so you just looked at your block on the design board and it's the same way I will be redoing. Yeah, you know what, it's just those little tiny things that you kind of improve on. And if you kind of see that you made a mistake, so I actually think sometimes it's good that I, I make mistakes while I'm doing live videos. Let's go ahead and piece this one together. Once again, I wish that was a little bit more consistent, but it will work for me. I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, I have to make some of these quilts for different things. And as I'm doing it, I will be using these ones for other things. You know what, that is really kind of bugging me though. Um, th that's not quite right. I can, I can fix this later. Okay, let's not be obsessive, Deanna, right? You guys, I, I shouldn't be obsessive about these things. Now, remember, if you're posting your pictures of your blocks online, oh, and I was short two employees last week, you guys, and so I haven't declared the winner of the Cricut Easy Press. Um, there's two Cricut Easy Presses that I'm giving away, so we will announce that tomorrow. I had Elise researching that and going through all the different entries and everything today. So, um, so let's go ahead and open that up. That looks pretty doggone good. That looks good. We'll give it a good press. Let me bring over my pre my pressing mat right here. Let's let's kind of press the and set our seams first. And really, any kind of iron works. You don't need a fancy iron to do things. And these what might be seams that I would maybe press open to reduce the um, to reduce the amount of bulk in the block. So this might be some place where I would press these open, but really if you're pushing them, this excess fabric towards the center that you have right here, you're gonna have a little bit less pressure than pressing those open and forcing these to go the opposite direction, those half square triangles. Does that make sense, you guys? You're gonna have less pressure pressing them into the center than you would be to press them open. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our block. Let's see if we've kind of got that six and a half inch finished size. The instructions for this quilt block are in the Live Well, Live Strong pattern that is on the website. Let me go ahead and bring you guys back up. Let's bring it to the front camera maybe, Matt. So um, that looks like an accurate six and a half inch square block. And um, I'm, I think it's amazing how it's working out mathematically that it just kind of, it works. But um, so I'm really pleased. So I've got two of these right here, which I've got, I've got to make a whole bunch. And I also have them ready to stitch together in the additional colorways of the coral colorway that I'm doing right here. And I'm also doing a black and white colorway. And we've got several different colorways of this quilt, but you guys are doing it in all sorts of different colors, kinds of fabric. If you share online, you're gonna to wanna to share on Instagram with the hashtag live well, live strong quilt. And then you can see the different blocks that people are making in the different colorways. If you're on Facebook, you're gonna to want to go to the, the Facebook group Everyone Can Quilt um, is a Facebook group, but you can follow me. Please follow me on Instagram. Please follow Stitches Quilting on Instagram, on Facebook, and on YouTube. You'll get notifications of the new videos that come out and the worksheets that come out and all the different tips and tricks that I have for you guys on, on putting together these different various um, uh, quilt blocks. Now, if you're on Facebook, you can request a copy of the worksheet um, for your book. So I put my pattern into a three ring binder that's the Live Well, Live Strong quilt. Um, this is the pattern instructions for today's quilt block. 
But back in the back, I do worksheets for each one of these subjects. So this was the week about balance, and there's some worksheets right there about balance. Um, so I do have worksheets prepared for um, the movement blocks that we did last week that was all about moving your body and being healthy. And this week is about self-reliance, and it talks about financial self-reliance, it talks about emotional self-reliance, and all those good things. So let's go ahead and declare some winners here. Um, let's go ahead and see. Let me look on Instagram. We've got um, that. It really is a cute block, Amy. So, oh, a half square fair. Um, that's too fun. Thanks, you guys, for being on here and making comments. Okay, so let's have Amy Ben 5 on Instagram win and half square affair win. So, um, okay, wait, wait. Amy, if I don't write these things down, you need to um, direct message me and at half square fair. So you need to direct message me with your mailing address um, so that I can email, I can snail mail you your fat quarter of this um, Riley Blake solid. And it's Riley Gray, which is used a lot in my version of the Live Well, Live Strong. It has 17 different colors. Okay, let's get to YouTube and Facebook. Okay, so let's see here. We have got, um, okay, let's see here. Um, Dolores. Um, oh, wait, wait, I didn't I didn't announce anybody. I'm thinking out loud. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, YouTube. I'm writing down YouTube. I'm looking at the different comments. So I'm looking for YouTube comments. So we've got Loris and Liz on there. I think we'll go with those people I can see on YouTube. So Dolores. So YouTube is one of, um, not very many people go on their live. So if you subscribe to YouTube and turn on the post notifications, you'll get a reminder and there's not as many people. And I give giveaways every single time. And on Facebook, let's go to Facebook. Facebook, we've got... Um, hi, Alice. Um, let's see here. What else can I see? And you guys can see all the Facebook and the YouTube comments together. Um, let's go ahead and do Karen Low Bongarts for Facebook. And I need to, Matt, can you scroll it so I can see more of the comments on here? Bongarts. And that's on Facebook. And then we've got, um, gosh. Uh, go up a little higher. You're doing great. Um, how about Mary Kennedy Hentz? Mary, you guys are so sweet to just make so many comments and to share so much and to help me grow. You guys have really helped me grow. And I'm growing by doing this quote with all of you guys. And let's do Delinda Garcia Cooner. Okay, so those are the three people on Facebook. Um, okay, Garcia. And then tomorrow we will absolutely announce who won the two Cricut Easy Presses, someone on Facebook and someone on Instagram. So I'll get that, that announced tomorrow. We just have to go through a little bit more of the data. And I was down two employees last week. Um, they took the whole week off for spring break. So uh, we were kind of working hard here, huh, Matt? <laughs> So we were doing a little bit of everything. Okay, I'm gonna get these. So be sure to um, direct message me, email me, or live chat me your uh, mailing addresses where you want your fat quarter um, shipped to. So you guys, I'm excited about this week with self-reliance. I'm gonna post on my social media platforms all the things of self-reliance and the things that I'm working on and improving on in my life to make me more self-reliant, whether it be financially, physically, temporally, or um, emotionally. So there's tons of different things that we can do. I wanna brainstorm with all of you guys the different things that you're doing too and to inspire each other. So give me feedback on the worksheets that you have. I want, to, I'm actually gonna maybe do one more worksheet so that there's, it's a three page worksheet with some things that you guys can fill out. So if you have more suggestions or anything, please, I love your feedback. Give me a call, live chat me on my website, um, message me, email me, do whatever. I love to hear from you guys. So we're working on the Live Well, Live Strong quilt and we're hoping to get some more videos done this week. Um, we've been working on so many big projects, so but it's been a lot of fun. So we will see you guys a little bit later and Wednesday night, I am going to um, my local uh, quilt guild's um meeting and uh, the modern quote quote and they're doing something on improv piecing by uh i can't remember the name but i'll be sharing with you guys all of that stuff that i learned this week so i'm taking a class and i'm really excited about it so if you guys want to come see me i'm going to be at the um home machine and quilting show 
um, in Salt Lake City, Utah, um, in the beginning of May. So anyways, we'll see you guys later. Have a good evening and we'll chat with you guys later. And I can't wait to hear about your adventures with self-reliance. Love you guys tons. See you later. Bye.